here. I'm not jumping. I'm not, I'm not like jumping. I'm breathing. I'm holding him right on me. Not out here. Not out here. Here. Really here. Otherwise, it's too hard. I want to put it on my body and turn. One more. Tension masks, covers Sens sensation. <laughs> so it's, it's a balance. If I'm too tense, I don't feel gravity. I can't tell if I'm falling. And then it's very late. I'm relaxed and I feel it's going down. I, I work with it. Too loose, it's not good. Too tight, it's difficult. I'm not already committed to a shape. I'm in the movement, and I feel the support, and I organize around the support when I feel it very quickly. But I wait. But I'm not too loose, and I'm not already committed. I'm in between. In other dance choreographies, it looks like people are touching, or they're touching, it looks like they're leaning or, or they're balanced together, but in fact they don't really need each other. They're, if the other one goes, nothing happens. But in this case, if you fall, you, you will be caught. There's going to be a relationship. Trust is something, I think, that is not um, what we call blind faith, that you just believe no matter what. You, you, you don't have to guess. You can feel it. So if you train yourself to actually be sensitive enough to feel things, then you're in dialogue with something real. You're not hoping that it's there. I think part of the power of the work as well is just touching, physical contact. I don't know why, really, but it's a very powerful element. I mean, there are many studies about babies who are touched and not touched and how it affects development, physical development, mental development, emotional but I think that that's part of what brings people back and makes them feel healthy and alive and balanced and satisfied when they're doing contact. <laughs> Small communications inside the support, inside the relaxing of the weight into the support, very small. So now your center is always kind of engaged, connected through your body. Soften it and follow the touch, follow the touch back into the body. In our cultures, touch was related to either um, intimacy or like social intimacy or violence like sexuality or violence and to have a language that was a physical language that was touch based that was neither of those extremes necessarily it wasn't a social form and it wasn't about fighting it was about talking to each other about different things um, that was pretty new I think that that that's new um, or was new and continues to be mm, attractive to people for a lot of different reasons.
extending energy into the spine, into the head. Contact improvisation as a duet movement form, improvised movement form, originated in 1972 by choreographer Steve Paxton. Um, based on the communication between two or more moving bodies that are in physical contact and their combined relationship to the physical laws governing their motion gravity, centrifugal force, momentum, friction, inertia. I'm imagining her sacrum and behind her pelvis where it's already on the floor. Yeah. So it's already relaxed on the floor. She doesn't have to do anything. And I lift my head so I don't go shooting too far that way. Drop me down way far away. Counterbalance. Reach your feet early. Ride them up to the center. Way far away. Fall way backwards. Woo! Okay. I do again. Yes. My name is Mandoline. And I'm French-American. I've been dancing contact for four or five years now. Um, I was in the US for three years dancing and I've just moved back to France um, 10 months ago. I'm living in Montpellier in the south. Um, so I've been dancing with Nancy for four years. I was very excited in coming to a continuing workshop because you bump into people that you haven't danced with for um, two or three years. and. Maybe you've lost touch with someone, but you come with um, your questions and how you've been evolving in your in your dance or your life and meet again. And often it's it's interesting how um, what coincidences happen. People are asking similar questions or not, and um, this has been a very a wonderful group to work with in particular. I'm Martin. I'm coming from Switzerland. And I was dancing contact improvisation in the last eight years. I like the atmosphere that we can work during the day and go on with discussion at night, during eating. There's a lot of open space to, to communicate, to explore, to express, to exchange. My name is Jennifer, and I'm from San Francisco, California. And um, this will be my fifth time studying with Nancy at a, um, like an intensive workshop. Um, I do mostly choreography, um, set dance when I'm at home. And I feel like these workshops are a chance for me to 
explore improvisation. It's something that, for reasons that I'm still trying to understand, something that eludes me as a practice at home. And um, every time I've come to study with Nancy, I come away with something, something new. We go deeper into similar materials and methods, but um, there's always there's always another question and another level of understanding to be gained. was about three years into the, the contact improvisation work and we were we had been to California and a few places to show contact improvisation and we had been hearing that some people were inspired from watching and started to just practice and there were some injuries um, and we wondered whether what we were doing was dangerous or if we should copyright, this was the question about trademarking copyright, create a certification, and we decided that we really didn't want to create so much organization and structure around it and hierarchy, but to encourage communication among people who were practicing. And Steve was very involved in and interested in talking about ideas and in bringing language to the work, but um, but not making a definition in that sense. So people were free to experiment with how to describe what it was, and everybody who started teaching would make another definition. So between the, all the definitions started to make sense of, of, of a work. I'm Mike Vargas, and I'm in Casina Setarte with Nancy Stark Smith and a bunch of wonderful dancers. And I'm here because I love exploring new situations and I love improvising music and composing.
complications adding up to the bigger. When we met at the Bates Dance Festival, before we started working together, we had very inspiring conversations about art and improvisation. And, and I could hear in what he was saying a kind of, you know, an affinity, a, a resonant mind. And I felt like I had a lot to learn from interacting with him. Practicing listening uh, is is directly related to contact improvisation because in order to do it well, you have to be listening very carefully to your partner's body, uh, listening in a physical way. Uh, but listening is a great word, I think, and and uh, so it's easy for dancers to see the connection between listening carefully to sound and listening carefully to their partner as they dance connection from the hands through the arms into your center. A little bounce. <laughs> Come up through zero again. When you're at zero, feel your feet, feel your own structure. Feel the slack in the arms and then open behind. <laughs> Connected to center. of my working with contact, I did not work with music. And one of the reasons was really just this sense that the rhythm and the musicality of the dialogue between the two bodies is very complex and is very particular and um, needs to be focused on for a long time to, to learn the rhythm of falling and gravity and, and if if there's music with a, a very strong beat, our habit is to, is to move with that beat. And it will be the primary impulse. And then maybe the person will be the secondary one. But in contact, the, the other partner has to be the primary. And the, and the gravity is also part of the, one of the partners, you could say.
contact improvisation is now 30 years old and it's funny because you don't know where you are in the cycle of something you know like maybe this is near the end of contact improvisation I don't think so but maybe it is maybe it's really the beginning the early years and like in a hundred years they're gonna call this whole part the beginning or maybe we're in the middle and you just you don't know